One, two, one, two. Welcome to the world famous stand up Honolulu, where it is time for the Comedy Forum. Yay! Yeah. I am your host, Pepper the Misunderstood Evil Genius, and today we have special guest Nico Butler. Yeah. Yay! And Nelly Jones. Yay. Sorry, the mic I'm on is extremely hot. And I don't want it to be. One, two. All right. Calming down. Calming down. There we go. Much better. So the Comedy Forum is the interactive live podcast recorded in front of live view people um, where we talk shit about topics of the week and we move on from there. Sometimes we don't really make it through all of our topics, but we tend to make it through, but then they go off on tangents. But is what it is. First topic of the week before I even get into the ones that these folks did. Um, there was a boat ride in Alabama. <laughs> and it was the most racially divisive thing over the weekend. It was also the most racially glorious thing over the weekend. Um, for those that don't know, there was a black security guard. He was yelling at a uh, boat of white people saying, hey, you can't park here. There's a giant river boat that needs to park here. And so they tried to physically assault him. And then the hilarity ensued where <laughs> this man decided to say fuck his job <laughs> in a most glorious manner. He just took his hat off and flung it in the air and was like, today's the day I get fired. <laughs> and began to fight these white people, which was awesome. They jumped in and then the problem was they were in the wrong because they had um, blocked the riverboat coming in, but the riverboat was also full of black people. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> the, they were filming all five of these white people jump on this old black security guard, and then as the boat docked, um, about 20 black people jumped off and just started whooping these white people's ass. <laughs> it was quite entertaining. Um, there was the first black man to swim to a fight. <laughs> he, happened in this deal. he literally jumped off the riverboat, swam across, and then started fighting. Um, there was also the only way that we're ever going to get reparations. There were so many chair shots. There was a man yeah. who, um, he just started hitting people with a chair. Like, <laughs> you, like, like you thought it was WWE. All of a sudden, he just had a chair. And the chair wasn't like, it was WWE because it wasn't like a good folding chair. It wasn't like a metal folding chair. It was just one of them plastic ones. And it wasn't doing much damage. So I guess he felt that he needed to do a lot of overkill on it. <laughs> and I just say as a warning to white people from now on, um, and this is a flat out warning, if you ever get into an altercation with black people, they're going to hit you with a chair from now on. <laughs> the, the precedent has been set. Um, <laughs> the cops are like, yo, we looking for this dude. Ain't nobody going to give up that dude at all. That dude is free in the wind. And what, what reason why I know is because like black people, once the thing calmed down, everybody was just like, "Damn, that was excessive." <laughs> <laughs> oh well, <laughs> they just went on about their day. Um, some people say, "Hey, you know, fighting ain't fair. Nothing. There's no there's no such thing as a fair fight. Um, don't get into fight unless you plan for somebody to fight dirty. Whatever." Um, when he hit the lady two times, I was, <laughs> I was like, ah, that's reparations right there. That's it's just plain and simple. He's never going to get his 40 acres in the mule, so he was going to take it out on somebody's forehead. And it is what it is. So y'all been warned. Um, chairs are coming out indefinitely. What did you guys feel about 
that fight when y'all saw the footage. Man, I watched that fight so many. We'll turn it up. Oh, yeah. There you go. Man, I watched that fight so many times. <laughs> from all the angles. You know what's so crazy about it, though? Where'd that chair come from? Dude, <laughs> the boat, I think. I no, think somebody just tossed a chair down to it. Someone threw a chair out of the boat. I was like, yeah, we're going to start using this now. Yeah. I saw JR. It's like, oh, there's somebody throwing him a chair. I was like, oh, shit. Um, yeah, I don't. no one knows where the chair is. It had to have been tossed down. I don't know, foreign object in the ring. It was great. It was great. I was waiting for the people's elbow to come out. <laughs> awesome. Nelly, how did you feel as a white woman? Were you, did you feel threatened? Well, you know, you mentioned 40 acres and a mule, and I got a good visual of that woman that got hit. She would have been the mule. So <laughs> that's my only thought. I did, I was laughing because he was, <laughs> he was hitting someone with the chair. And then when he went over and hit her, that's when whoever was taking the video was like, oh, he's going to jail. Like, he was like, she was like, yeah, get him. And then she was like, oh, and that did it. That yeah. was the, that's the one. It was that excessive. It was truly excessive. Uh, <laughs> no way around it. But you know what, though? There's always that one black dude that's taking a little too far. There's, there's always. <laughs> always that one dude in a fight. You're like, yo, man, why did you do that? Yeah. <laughs> It kind of looked like an AI generated race war. Like it was, <laughs> you know? No, it was. It was very cliche. It was like, hey, uh, we need an old black security guard who well, didn't walk too well. I mean, the glitch was I saw two videos of the guys throwing the hats up, and I was like, hey, this. There were two videos? I thought there was just the one. I was like, both decided to do that. That's great. I, I like I'm that. sure there's more videos out there. So <laughs> the the grad cap throwing. Everyone's just like, oh, no, you can, sell, you can tell that that's Jerome. You're not going to put that one out. <laughs> but, um, yay, shout out to them. Uh, one of the depressing histories about that whole harbor, that's pretty much where slaves used to come in. And uh, so it's not pretty much it is where they used to come in and be offloaded off of the deal. So that's why that guy with the chair is never going to be found. <laughs> it was just like, yo, let's yo. go. <laughs> you know, all right. So when those, when those black people hopped off the, hopped off the boat, right, mm -hmm. and ran up to those white people, during that whole altercation, what's the over and under on the amount of times those white people said the N-word? Oh, oh. oh. Uh, All right, I've had a good time. But, uh, <laughs> this is where I jump out. Prior to the boat docking, I would say over under 12. 12? <laughs> I would say it? over 12. <laughs> over, over 12. Over 12. Over 12. <laughs> over 12. <laughs> After the boat docking, I would say uh, three. <laughs> and actually, yeah, I would say under three. Like, what about during? What about from the black people? Oh, a thousand, uh, yeah. a thousand and eight seven. Yeah. I guarantee it. Yeah, yeah. Everybody came off that boat like, oh, we gonna show y'all y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about yeah. the brother that started swimming? I'm like, whoa, where'd you come from? Yeah, the kid, <laughs> the kid that was swimming definitely said nigga all the way across that ocean, bro. <laughs> As soon as he hit the water, he was like, nigga, what was you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Jumping in this water. But yeah, it's um it's over now. Uh, <laughs> those people are going to jail. It's uh I don't I don't know how much jail they're gonna get. Um, because they were like literally, I guess it's like maritime rules or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. We got a sailor in here. What's the deal, what's the deal for blocking a, a, a commercial vessel from parking? Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, you get some real fines for that shit. Yeah. Uh, before the even race war started, they was they was in the wrong. So, um, but I'm sure, I'm sure Giuliani will be their lawyer or some shit or. Uh, uh, the scientists will bail them out, I guess. I don't know. They'll get help from somebody. There's some white racist person in Alabama who's got some money and be like, no, nah, we got y'all. Go ahead. Uh, meet me at the house. We got a cross to burn. <laughs> um, oh, wait. They, have, they definitely have lawyers. 
yeah. You own a boat? You definitely. That's the it wasn't Hold that on. nice. You yeah. own a boat? You own a boat? You got a lawyer? No. This is a bad poor boat owner. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even own a boat. Yeah. <laughs> you rent a boat? 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 <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. I get paid to sell other people's boats. <laughs> yeah, was there a site like uh, Toro for boats? Yeah, kind of. Oh, I, you know that that site's full of white trash, isn't it? Uh, probably yes. I don't know, whatever. We so are you like an Uber driver for boats? <laughs> <laughs> like a no, boat Uber? No, not really. I'm someone that you hire if you don't know how to take your own boat across the ocean. So okay. I jump on your boat and then sail it across to somewhere else. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Okay. I guess it is more like Toro. Like I don't know how to drive this shit. <laughs> Apparently, you don't need a license. Yeah. No, you don't. I was talking to a guy this weekend. He was like, "Nah, you don't even need." You don't oh, no, own it. No. Yeah. But to yeah, like go across the ocean and do some shit, you gotta have. Man, some, you gotta have some license shit for that. Man, that's why they hire him. You just kinda go. <laughs> yeah, but do you take people? Not tourists or guests, yeah. but I, I sail Just often over the ocean. Man, you got your own boat. You could be out in the Pacific Ocean, fucking bitches, smoking blunts. It doesn't matter, dude. Oh, yeah. I get seasick. The one Mexican in the back. <laughs> it's, it's better it's like, yeah, we commit crimes in the ocean. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I, I thought that was going to work, but they all turn green as soon as you get out there. Well, he knows where bodies are floating. Um. <laughs> So our three topics this week. The first one was <laughs> Lizzo. Good transition. Yeah. Lizzo. Good transition. Smooth. She can definitely float like a boat. Yeah. Oh. Um, Sting like a bee. Hey. Um. So for those who don't know, Lizzo has several dancers that are suing her for uh, conduct detrimental to, I guess, dancing. I don't know. Um, and that she made them do weird sex acts and there was sexual harassment and assault and all that type of shit on her tour. And uh, there was body shaming and all that kind of deal. Um, and for those who really don't know, Lizzo is fat. <laughs> There's no, that's not a joke. She's, she's a big girl. And- um, No, she fat, she not big, she yeah. big. She's a thick bitch. Yeah. And that lies the problem right there. Is uh, Lizzo was the champion of non-body shaming people and was like, you can't do this shit and I'm big and I'm beautiful and I'm here and you gotta love all my roles even when I show up to the Lakers game in my drawers and my thong and all this stuff out. Yeah, and then she body shamed her dancers for the same shit. So she kind of fucked it up for big girls off of the deal. Nelly, as the skinniest person on this stage. <laughs> I really have not. I, like, I don't. I know she's body positive, but I don't think she'd be a big fan of, of, of me. That makes <laughs> any sense. Uh, it's because you're white. No, just because I just have, I, I, I don't know. It, uh, People don't like skinny people very much. That's, that's not true just at all. that's absolutely true. That is not true at absolutely all. Absolutely true. I think big people what? don't like skinny people. But other people do. Yeah. Kinda. It's a jealousy thing. That's yeah. all. Don't nobody want to be fat though. No, not at all. Like would they, you rather be They say they do? Oh, I'm so com I'm so whatever that was. Would you rather be 350 or like have that post heroin body? <laughs> Ooh. Post why I gotta be heroin though? Because like, that's the skinniest <laughs> you can get. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Give me post heroin. That looks like a fun time. <laughs> Like Jesus carrying a cross body? Like, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> he got a six pack, like who cares? Across dude? the desert. Just all matted hair, it's just, oh, uh, yeah. Maybe it isn't that people hate skinny people, but I do get looks on the airplane when people see how much room is left on my seatbelt. 
and they see like I'm tightening it up, and I'm like, ooh, I can keep going. Like, ooh, this waist is fucking snatched. To you hit see turbulence, the, and I'm glued to the seat. You should see the looks I get when I ask for a second seatbelt. <laughs> I've never asked for that. Me uh, either, but I felt like it fit right there. Yeah, we've had we've had some comics do jokes about that, and I feel like um, that would suck. That would suck. Like those plane seats. Like, how do you even get the second seat belt in there? <laughs> you gotta ask for it. Yeah. But why are plane seats so small? They're too small. You're not the person to be complaining about. See, that. that's what people. <laughs> skinny people. I have a good opinion, and this is a good opinion. Yeah. Lizzo would fucking stamp approval on this opinion. Lizzo also she all, she first class. Yeah. First yeah, because that's the only now. class where you can eat bananas out of pussies. <laughs> <laughs> that's the other thing that was, that wasn't just a random. Yeah, yeah, they said she that's forced her dancer to put. It's a lot. She forced bananas to put. into the JJ and other dancers to eat them out. Um, oh, wow, she got free you know what they could have. You know what they could have said though, it's just, uh, I'm not gonna do that. They could have left. Yeah. You don't have to be a dancer. You don't have to have the worst hobby in entertainment. <laughs> you sound like you're giving the worst excuse for date rape. <laughs> <laughs> she could have left. <laughs> They're dancers. They're good with their feet, right? Oh Walk away. <laughs> I don't know. I find it weird because I feel like I feel like this is kind of just. I don't know what happened, but I feel like, okay, where is this coming from? It feels like, it feels like it's kind of all like, when people, when these things happen to somebody, it tends to like, the, the things need, tend to come out like 10 to 15 years later. It was just like, oh, you've been popping for like three, four years. We need to bring you down now. And I'm just wondering, I heard somebody said that she tried to buy Chick-fil-A and that's why they're bringing her down. <laughs> Nobody fucks with Chick-fil-A. I don't know. It's the Lord's chicken. It's the Lord's chicken? You yep. think that's what it is? Where do you think she was hiding these stories, Alvin? Under her rose? Well, uh, well, Lizzo, kind of Lizzo of, yeah. I don't know. I think people were just waiting for that check to get bigger. I think the stories were out there. Just, everybody was just waiting. As she got more popular, that check got bigger. They knew they could get more out of her. But it's not like, I don't I feel like if like once you start getting lifetime achievement shits, I don't, you know, once you start getting like super big, big. Mm -hmm. But she only what her second album. Did yeah, she popping? They knew that huh. check was gonna be big. Why well, would, would you get? Would you want to sue somebody in the beginning of their career was only making a hundred, few hundred thousand, or when they're making millions, making cameos off of what? Uh, I get Mandalorian that. and all that. It's waiting for that check to get bigger. I get that, but I, I'm just saying, like when you follow the trend of, of Hollywood breakdowns, mm -hmm. they tend to wait like ten to fifteen years, sometimes yeah, twenty they, years. They money going, and now they need yeah. some more money. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I'm new to this story. Was this Lizzo body shaming and sexually harassing her dancers? Yes, mm -hmm. they were all big girls. So too. is it just like other women that she was sexually they were, harassing? They were all big girls. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. I mean, because if it was men, like, we wouldn't even be talking about it. Yeah, they would just fight in the parking lot. We would have just ate the fucking banana. We would have just ate the fucking banana. We would have just had skinny hands. We would have just Shut the fuck up. Stuff in your mouth. Shut up. I don't know. Her apology was weird. I don't know shit about fuck, but when I looked at her apology, I was like, but do you, you don't mean it. Like, it's kind of like someone's like, yeah, and then she made us eat bananas out of the stripper's ass and she's like well it was out of their vagina not their ass oh like it seemed very like <laughs> dancey around it which is ironic because she danced around it um, <laughs> that's a giggle and that's all i gotta contribute I <laughs> fair enough uh speaking of fighting in the parking lot <laughs> last week um former vice president mike pence just threw Trump and his whole crew up under the bus. Like, he didn't even wait for, like, to go to trial. He was on the TV news. It was just like, yo, you know, they asked me to forfeit the election and to cancel all the votes, and I was like, nah, I'm not doing that shit. 
I'm like, you know you're supposed to tell this to the judge, not to us. But he was like just on the six o'clock news, just dropping dimes like that. And um, so my question to these comics is, uh, who's going to win that celebrity death match? Trump, Trump. or Pence? Trump. You think Trump is? Well, guaranteed. First off, Mike Pence is a bitch. Well, yeah. well he looks like a camp counselor. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think you, can fade, you can fade a camp counselor really easy. You can fade them both. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nah, but you know what? Trump got that, that like, stocky body. He's, a, he's fat, bro. He built like one Yeah, exactly. He got that <laughs> stocky body. Trump. Have you ever had a fat guy bump into you? I am a fat guy. I bump into shit. Exactly. And they move, right? They do, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I like to rest my case, Your Honor. I feel like the most athletic thing Trump has ever done is comb his hair. <laughs> so I'm not like I don't think he could. I don't think he could throw a punch at all. Plain and simple. I, I just don't think he could throw a punch. I think if he missed two or three times, he'd be gassed. And done. Yeah, yeah. Like if Pence did a couple laps around the ring, but it'd be Pence over. But can Pence even do that? I don't know. <laughs> I think Skin. if anyone's gonna throw a chair, it's Pence. That's where that's where I'm at. Pence is gonna throw the chair. Trump is gonna break it. Exactly. <laughs> Pence doesn't look like he boxes, but he looks like he jump ropes. We're all trying to riff real hard up here. We're trying, Kanoa. <laughs> Jump ropes? Pence. No, he looks like it. Pence he looks, looks like he does double dutch. <laughs> nah, he wouldn't nah. have a rhythm for nah. that. Nah. He wouldn't <laughs> have a rhythm for that at all. So uh, one of those fights where people like used to like, you know, used to like act like you're ready to fight, but everybody like like both chest with each other. Like, what you gonna do? You go first. You hit first, you hit first. I think they just get closer. Okay, I think it becomes more of a debate. I think it becomes more of a debate. You do first, you do first. Wait, but he also has like a foot on Pence. I have a better yeah, question. Way, Trump too. Pence. Who's the bottom? Oh, they both, they both get paid. Well, they're both bottoms. Yeah, they both get well, paid. Well, see, that's where the yeah. problem with the fight goes in. You can't have a bottom against the bottom. It's yeah, but I feel like Trump has, like, more expensive women pegging him. <laughs> and you know what? And, they and, that, and Trump has less expensive women pegging him. They're using way bigger dildos on Trump, too. I just don't like how gray Pence is. I'm overriding whatever the fuck JG has said. He's talked too much. So we're moving on. We're moving on to Pence's gray. I feel like if either one of them were in a fight, they both just fake their death. <laughs> Trump would go first. Like Trump, Trump, like Trump would get hit and fall to the ground and then just act like somebody shot him. Just to not to have to get back up. <laughs> He'd just be like, oh, look at all this fake news. <laughs> they witch hunted my... Servant, I don't know what the fuck. Trump would just threaten to sue. He's yeah. like one of those little kids. Be like, my dad's gonna sue your dad if you do anything. And I think that'd be Trump's approach to this. He's like, I'll just sue if you touch me. Yeah, I haven't seen this feud though. I do feel like Trump would give up state secrets first. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll guarantee. Yeah. Like Pence was just like, nah, I'm gonna just keep quiet, just stay in this closet. But <laughs> Trump, as soon as this shit happened, he would, he would just squeal. All right, something happened back then? No, that's that's good. That aroma, that aroma hit the crowd. All right, and then uh, this goes into our last topic um, because it looks like one of them is going to prison. Um, (laughs) How would you guys do in prison? Nelly, what would be your plan? You got to do 10. You got five to ten for manslaughter. What's your plan going into the joint? I think you become a legend. You're gonna suck a lot of dick and get out of there early. I think <laughs> that's just. It's a lady's prison. Gonna... It's gonna yeah. be a woman's prison. The guards can be men. No, We've all seen. Men. Oh, yeah. The guards are men. The yeah. guards are yeah. men. I already yeah. talked to Al. I was yeah. like, okay, sweet. Pull this hair back. I'm getting out of here in a quick two months. That's it. That's me. I think they let you out though. No, yeah, they... I figure out a way. Um... So you just get fucked for ten years. <laughs> no, fucked for three. Head for four years total. 
So I think I have a four-year plan of how to get out of a 10-year sentence. Okay. That's about it. Overall, I think I'd be fine, uh, but I am a pussy, so I don't know. I didn't know we were going in with predetermined crimes. I just toss out, you gotta have some kind of crime to I mean, go in. Yeah, but like, all right, all right. No, 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 you, I want manslaughter. No, no. I want manslaughter. I feel no, like you're gonna give no, me something. No, you got, <laughs> you got five to ten for uh, child pornography. No, 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 Mom, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, mind my business. I see. That's the thing. I have too many. I have too many friends that have been to prison. Okay. And they're they're all like, it's not, it's bad, but it ain't like, it ain't how the movies make it seem. Yeah, you're not gonna get raped, guaranteed. I actually. Well, you mess. Oh, sorry. I like okay. the idea. Of, like, I don't know. Sometimes the thought of prison sounds kind of cozy. Like in Shawshank Redemption, I was like, well, there's like a library, and you know, <laughs> bring your books. And well, you're not get getting praised, yeah. Cards. Like, have you have you seen prison TikTok? No. <laughs> oh, well, actually, yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, oh, it is my like best prison, life. Prison now seems like way different. I, I did get into a little bit of that, like after the um. After the R. Kelly dropped an album shit, they just started showing like different shit that happens in prison. And like people was like frying chicken and like yeah. making rap videos. And yeah. I'm like, dude, what, when did prison turn into like just high school? Yeah. Yeah, but, like you just hang out with your boys all day. You fucking do body workouts. I had a friend from you high school. You mind your business, that's it. I had a friend from high school go to jail for three years because he. Uh, accidentally put a homemade bomb on a friend of mine's front porch and um, but it was an accident. accident it was an accident <laughs> he just drove 10 miles to do this um, anyways so he did that got three years and I was with another friend and it was just weird seeing him snapchat from jail I was just like I don't want to see you right now <laughs> this is too casual that is way too casual it's very weird I don't know I could I could see me in solitary confinement a lot You'd be in solitary? Yes. I, I, I think I would go to prison, prison and be the crazy dude. <laughs> and then every time I got out, I'd say something else crazy or do something else crazy just so people would leave me alone. <laughs> and then I'd go back in solitary and just mind my own business and raise shit. <laughs> and then come back out. Either that or run a dating service. <laughs> and, <laughs> they come down to you at the end of your solitary and they're like, okay, Pepper, you can come out. And you're like, I'm an introvert, thank you. Like, I'll just, I'm going to hang out. Yeah. Um, I think I run a good prison dating service, I think. <laughs> just be a matchmaker for people, ins and out. Yo, I think Jeffrey over in D-Block. <laughs> Match with you, dog. I think I should hook up. <laughs> but yeah, he likes color blue. and. It's ironic that you're wearing blue, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah. Advertise the fresh meat. Yep. Yeah. Well, no, man. I feel like you gotta have a job. Like you you gotta have a job in prison. <laughs> like you, you have worked in prison, so you know to yeah. you know it's safety in numbers, yeah. obviously. So yeah. you go in there, you get you get with a crew. You click up with somebody. Yeah, and you, you just, can't just be by yourself. Yeah, yeah. You gonna click up with somebody. Yeah. So I think I'd just be the, the, the dating <laughs> service guy. Yeah. Or solitary confinement, no in between for me. <laughs> I feel like that's a real quick way to get stabbed by somebody. <laughs> oh yeah, me and Jeffrey didn't work out, didn't so it's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. That's why I go to solitary. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be that dude I'd be that dude to take it too far. Like the first fight, like I'd bite somebody's ear. <laughs> Just be like, Right, and they'd be like, oh, this fucking ear biter, Pepper. <laughs> Stay the fuck away from him. And then every time I got out, the first person I would see, I'd just bite their ear so I could go back to solitary. 
Honestly, I think I'd be in the same boat. I would do a lot. Yeah. Just hey, put me back over there. I don't want to deal with nobody. Oh, I would bite so fast. Growing up with my brother, because he beat the shit out of me. I I was smaller, so I couldn't do anything other than bite. Then I would get in trouble. It's like, no, you know you can't bite. You can only hit. It's like, so I lost that battle. Pepper gonna rip three nipples off this week. We can't let him out. <laughs> oh, man. I can see that Pepper is the barber. He he's the full-time barber, so he's good to go. Nico, you work in the kitchen. And Nelly. Oh, a trustee? Yeah, you're a trustee. I got a trustee. You got a trustee <laughs> position. And then Nelly, I can see you as like the module clerk, but at the same time, like you're lesbian, so you get to get inside and get in good with everybody. You might suck one dick, and the next day, that's how you get out. I'd like you suck a dick couple. to distract while the yeah. other girls got the keys. This is I weird profiling. How'd you know I could cut hair? Huh? How'd you know I could cut hair? Because you're bald. Because you're black. Everybody's got to cut hair. <laughs> how many black guys are in prison? <laughs> it's like, it's 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 black. Black. Most of them are black. Jesus Christ. Hey, you can cut. You're the first guy that gonna come. Can you cut hair? All uh, right. Yeah. You, yeah you, even you know how you gonna do the thing, and you gonna go. I used to cut hair. See? <laughs> That's what I'm like. a barber. That's trustee working kitchen duty. And now that she's going to be out within six to nine months because she's going to get an ACO that's going to need to get his dick sucked. And then next thing she's going to spit it in the cup and then give it to the chief of security. And then they're going to let her out so she'll say nothing. Sorry, that's easy. Hi, right, guys. Right. We got the expert over here yeah. who's actually been you a prison guard. <laughs> <laughs> he just knows how it's going to go. She's in a prison break. For, a 14 while. years as a lesbian to come out, and then her and Michael got a rekindle. I, I don't know how it's going to work, but you know. I don't think he's going to be around. <laughs> Michael's not the type that's going to wait for you to be prison. Hell no. I'd call and be like, sorry, I hooked up with some girls. I'd be like, where to go? Yeah, he, he, he knows. Is it nice to you think it's gonna be a girl? <laughs> Look at him, yeah, he's cheering me. <laughs> like, Michael, you're not waiting for her in prison, are you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't gotta lie, homie. Well, wow. How long would you wait? How long would you wait if she had to go to jail? I feel like there would be a solid like eighteen months where I'm working my ass off to get her out. Okay. And then after That's that, fucking it. And then after, <laughs> that, and then and after then, that, you're, you're fucking the intern at the lawyer that you were working to get her out with? Yeah. It depends on if she's going to try harder to get her out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get mad at him. He's I, working I to got, get you I'm out. trying to get you out. You can't get mad at him for fucking somebody else to help get you out. That's, if that's it's a lawyer fucking to try and get out. If it's exactly. fucking to get you out. Yeah, if it's, it's a female warden, I got oh. <laughs> But I feel like when she comes out of prison, she's going to have like prison tendencies that are going to scare the shit out of you. She already has up. prison tendencies. I do not. I'm just from Missouri. It's different. <laughs> now he comes out with the face tattoos. I love you on a high I would be jacked. I'd be fucking jacked. <laughs> she oh, already yeah. would. Need a cut off needle that soft bar girl to come back out. No, bitch, I'm going to sit on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Okay. Oh well. That's it. If you went to prison, do you think your your girl's gonna wait for you? Yeah, actually, I think my wife will wait for me. Really? And I tell her to go, but she she will wait for me. I really do. <laughs> yeah. Shit. All right. Yeah. Um, How long you been together? Uh, four years. Yeah. Yeah. She's not going nowhere. Um. Yeah. Can I change my answer? <laughs> That's what happens when you uh, uh, lay the pipe. That's what happens. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. She ain't going nowhere. Uh, she's gonna be pissed, but yeah. I think she would stay because she know that I went to prison over probably doing some shit for her. So. Yeah. I think she's trying, trying to get the women in this room on your side. <laughs> What's the reason? And I went to prison for doing some shit for Michael too. So. Damn, Michael. Eighteen months and she did something for you. And you I, know, I, I didn't Michael know that was the situation. I love, I love how Michael's first reaction was like, "Like what exactly? What the fuck would you be doing for me?" <laughs> 
Well, I'm single now. So, um, how are we doing? This hypothetical prison shit. Um, yeah, that's the deal. So, yay prison. Uh, it's not that bad. Kanoa. You think your wife's staying? You go oh, yeah. to prison? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh hell yeah, dude. What would, what, would, what would be your role in prison? What do you think you'd do? Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> JG, stop saying everything that you want to be in prison. Oh, you know, I'm, so <laughs> uh, I'm too hairy to be like a, like, it, it, it just wouldn't be efficient. There's just way better options in prison. Can't be a bottom. Oh. oh. <laughs> Janelle, like what about that. you? What did you do in prison? Oh. Munch box. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I would probably, I don't know, just nothing. <laughs> Stare at the ceiling. No, they gonna have your ass in mental health. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she, <laughs> like, I was just about to say. I was just about to say. She gonna be. I love with, you, man. She gonna be with a whole bunch I'm of other people. You gonna be with everybody? Like, I'm gonna be fucking good, distracting. Janelle's gonna be screaming, uh, and then everyone's gonna get the keys. Well. You're, 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 you're that. Going to jail, you're, I'm going to plead insanity. You're definitely <laughs> gonna get a box. <laughs> 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 no, I love you. I love you. They're gonna put you in a suicide blanket and put you. The room by yourself. You know, you know, you know. That's it. That's it. Good shit. All right, and lastly, JG, since everybody's a bottom, what are you gonna be? A bottom? <laughs> drug mule, dude. Drug mule? Yeah. All right. I mean for drugs. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, prep that butthole, dog. <laughs> Y'all missing the important parts about jail. You need to. Somebody need to be an in-house lawyer. You become the in-house lawyer. Everybody's Ooh. under your hand. See, oh, you know what? No, I like see, that job. Be, I'll do that. Be the in-house lawyer, cause you fucking read, go through the shit, help people out with their cases. I can and suck dick and read a book. How do you think I got here? <laughs> Throw me in. I'm, I'm gonna... You went in a hundred pounds. You come out three hundred, cause everybody's giving you buddy bars. Niggas outside of prison think they're a fucking prison lawyer. What are you talking about? <laughs> Man. Out. I got a degree in criminal justice. There that you go. To start somewhere. That will and work. now you do stand up. And you do. And you, you're in house like Ann Barber. Yeah. <laughs> Give I'm it a world lawyer advice. barber <laughs> slash dating expert. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. This has been the the comedy forum. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, it's been a weird one, but it is what it is. Okay. Shout out to Nelly Jones. Shout out to Nico Butler. And appreciate y'all watching. Um, so you ready for open mic? Yeah. <laughs>